Hi there, this is Dr. Hazel Gracie Yates, and I'm here today to share some information on the anatomy of arousal for pussies. Now, mind you, before I discovered this information, I didn't feel as confident or empowered in bed. I always thought I'm taking too long or there's something wrong with me until I read this really awesome book by Sherry Winston called Women's Anatomy of Arousal. Mind you, it's a gender binary book, and yet the information is still really useful. Okay, so I'm going to give you some information here that some doctors don't even know about. So the arousal system for pussies is has as much erectile tissue as that of a, the genitalia of the cock. So imagine that the engorgement that you can see externally on a penis or a cock is the same process as happening, but mostly internally. And when the arousal system kicks in for a pussy haver, what happens is the erectile tissue usually has two, a two-way valve. So blood is flowing while we're walking around with our, in our non-aroused state. Blood is flowing in and out of this erectile tissue, but as soon as the arousal system kicks in and the body says, oh, it's time to crank on our arousal system. I'm sure that's exactly what the body does. <laughs> the erectile tissue goes from a two-way valve to a one-way valve, meaning the blood goes in, but it doesn't go out. So it, it captures this, this fluid and the tissues begin to swell. And what I think is fascinating is that there are actually four chambers in which this happens. So for example, the first chamber is called the clitoral body, which is comprised of the clitoral head, the clitoral legs, and the clitoral shaft. So that whole system begins to expand and uh, become engorged. Another chamber is the urethral sponge, which is also known as the, the G-spot, and this also begins to expand. Then there's the perineal sponge, which if you were to feel, um, if you were to insert the finger into the vagina and push um, down towards the anus, there's a sponge there called the perineal sponge, and this is another area. And the last chamber, well, not in the order per se, but the fourth chamber where engorgement happens is called the vestibular bulbs. These are two bulbs that are underneath the labia, underneath the lips. And the purpose of this is actually to expand, um, to become actually tighter and to be able to adapt and accommodate different sized things that are coming into the body. So is it important that you know the names of these chambers? Not really. But what I can tell you is that when I learned that my body biologically takes 20 to 40 minutes to become fully engorged, which engorgement is different than um, having anything to do with orgasm, but simply the engorgement process. And when I learned that biologically that my body just takes that much longer, I felt so much more comfortable taking the time that I needed, asking for what I wanted, and waited and waiting until I wanted to be penetrated. So I hope this information gives you more confidence and encourage you to check out this book to learn more information.